Right, now then, in the largest study of its kind, a psychedelic compound found in magic mushrooms has proved to treat severe depression. 233 patients took part in the trial and within three weeks, nearly a third said they no longer felt any depressive symptoms. Well, researchers now claim that these findings could pave the way to revolutionise mental health care. So, could this be the cure? Well, in just a moment, we're heading to uh, listen to Kurt Rutter. He's a participant in a very similar trial back in 2015. First, though, we're joined by Dr Ellie to Hi. find out more. Good morning. Good morning. So, um, psilocybin yep. is, uh, is, the, is the chemical within the magic mushrooms. That's right. Um, uh, medically, your thoughts? Well, it's important for people to understand that what happens with this is you're not taking magic mushrooms, you're not taking psilocybin regularly. You're having possibly one or two episodes where you take the psilocybin and you go through what most of us would understand to be some sort of hallucinations, I suppose what we would call a trip, some sort of out-of-body experience. And then that experience is used to help people undergo therapy. So that's supervised and then you undergo therapy with a trained psychologist afterwards. And it's that type of experience, that type of out-of-body event, if you like, which often, well, as we've seen in this trial, will allow somebody to sort of break through and undergo therapy when they might not have been able to before, for example, with trauma or grief. And there's, so, as we've said <clears throat> here, obviously this is all supervised yeah. and it's controlled. There are different uh, levels That's of right. um, psilocybin that you're given, different doses, yeah. sort of working up mm. to, to, to ultimately a, a, a larger dose. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So it's, it's not taken like a drug, like taking an antidepressant every day. The idea is that it changes the way somebody's brain works so they can undergo therapy. It's taking you like we, what we all think happens when we take drugs. You know, we know that gives people out of body experiences, whether it's alcohol or drugs or anything, mm. you know, people sort of take for that, for that different place to be in mm. to hallucinate or whatever it might be that's why people take drugs recreationally of course and it's using that experience for the benefit of undergoing therapy mm -hmm. well uh, let's talk to uh, to kirk because um, hi kirk uh, kirk took part in a Good similar morning. trial in 2015 you'd struggle with depression never never talked about it and this is brought on by bereavement um what made you decide that you wanted to go for this trial? Uh, well, good morning, and thank you for letting me come on and talk about this. I, I was stuck in grief. Uh, I had a, a kind of prolonged period of depression. Um, I actually tried uh, a, a few treatments. The trial I was on was for treatment-resistant depression. So I tried a year of talk therapy and uh, a I think uh, two types of antidepressants that didn't really help me and, and uh, I found kind of difficult to deal with. So I heard about this trial uh, and applied, uh, was screened and, uh, and, and accepted. So just explain what happened then, if, if that's all right with you. You're, you're in a room, you said oh. that you went to the hospital and they kind of changed it up so it felt what, more like a spa than sort of a hospital environment. You get taken to the room, you're given your dose, there's a therapist in the room with you, is that right? What happened? That's right. I had two therapists with me. The room was changed. It was uh, beautifully lit, uh, very warm, um, very spa-like, as you said. And uh, and then I was given the uh, psilocybin. And there were, for you, there were no negative effects? For me, it was a life-changing thing. For somebody being stuck, you know, in, in grief, in depression, feeling kind of hopeless, feeling that, you know, this is, this is it. And uh, and then having this experience, um, I, I would say it's not an out of body experience. I, I kind of don't agree with that term. I think you're very much in your body, uh, and you're you're dealing with your um, uh, kind of consciousness, your uh, subconscious. Um, so it, it gives you a way of experiencing the grief. Um, for example, when I when I was having talk therapy, I found it very difficult and painful to talk about. With psilocybin, I was able to experience and talk about it in a in a very nice kind of almost humane way. So has it has it changed the way that you think now? Because you're not on any pills, you don't take antidepressants. That was on the trial. You came out of that. You're not taking the mushrooms or the psilocybin anymore. So that must have that's had a profound and long term change in the way you think. 
Yeah, I think they're good words, Philip. Uh, profound uh, is is certainly true. Um, you know, it was life changing. It was positive. It's left me with uh, a, a kind of a much deeper appreciation of nature, which I, I didn't expect. If if you want to uh, name that as a side effect, um, but yeah, it, it's made me. I mean, if you think about you know what we've just all been through this this awful pandemic and lockdown and having got through that without you know needing or relapsing into depression uh, and coming out of that okay and actually the the connection to nature that i had really from that child really helped me get through the pandemic because i, I used that uh, during lockdown um, Kirk, thank, thank you. you. Good to talk to you. So I guess there'll be people watching this now that we're going, hang on, that's, there's, there's a huge mental health problems in this country mm. and here seems to be something relatively simple mm. that is having a huge difference. When are they going to roll something like this out? Is it likely to happen? Well, I would hope so. I mean, this is a very early stage trial. There have been other trials like the one Kirk was on, but they're certainly promising results. But like with any medication, it needs to be sort of rolled out to a much larger scale trial before we are recommending it. It's important to point out that despite the benefits, some patients reported side effects in the trial, headaches, nausea, dizziness, mm. fatigue, anxiety, um, and, uh, and fewer than one in five of the trial reported self-harm and suicidal thought. Mm. I mean, this is something that still has to be worked on. It still has to be worked on, but what I would say is we know with mental illness we don't have a great deal of things in our armoury to treat. We know a lot of people don't respond to antidepressants. We know people that therapy doesn't work for them. So let's explore all of these options. We have a mental illness epidemic, we all know that, and we're not finding the help for enough people. So. Although, obviously, I would never recommend anybody takes magic mushrooms or takes drugs, I think this is a positive step in research that I would like to see within the next few years possibly does offer some hope to some mm. people like mm. Kirk. It's definitely interesting. We'll see what Thank happens. You. Thank you. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. Right, your local weather forecast.